Welcome back, Better Hip Extension Series, last video, three of three. If you missed the first two, click the links above this video in the post. Um, so previously we've gone over in step one, the couch stretch. Step two, we went over the hamstring bridge and the half kneeling step up. And then step three here, I got a pair for you. We're gonna first go over rear foot elevated split squats. So with hip extension, if it's lacking, you'll often see some issues with that top foot, that back that back hip where the foot is elevated on the, the box or the bench, um, where people will kind of be a little short in the front here and they'll have some hip flexion remaining at the bottom portion of the exercise. So if I pause it, we should see where uh, you know, where the, there's like sort of a straight line from their knee, hip, shoulder, uh, no matter you know how you're holding the kettlebell doesn't matter, but it should be a nice straight line there where they're actually demonstrating back hip extension um, and they're not just sort of arching through the back or having their knee you know bent in front of them where they're sort of hinged at the hip here. So one way we do like to train hip extension there. And then let's pop over to a deadlift. So these are going to be two exercises that are going to be a little bit more uh, better used for main lifts or maybe accessories for the rear foot elevated. But um, this is always the end goal, right? So we might start with the couch stretch, but the goal is always in mind that we want to train people. We want them to be doing things with intensity um, and creating an adaptation. So a couch stretch isn't going to always do that for them, right? They want to get strong, they want to get powerful, they're going to use things that they can load. So this is going to be the end goal here. So if you notice, um, and we often see people ask us like, isn't a deadlift a back exercise? And we would say no, it really should just be purely hip extension. At the top of the exercise, we're looking that, let me pause it, uh, maybe another split second later, but the knee, hip, shoulder is a nice straight line. There's not a giant lordosis in the lower back, um, where, or maybe the hips aren't you know, pushing forward past the center of the bar, past the, past the hands, um, where you're sort of compensating through the lower back. And we should feel this exercise in our legs, right? It's a, it's a lower body, it's a hip extension exercise. Um, we don't think you necessarily need to be training your back extensors with you know, loading up a bar, or trap bar, or barbell. Um, while you're doing a deadlift. So uh, those are the last two for the hip extension series. I'm just going to pop over to my resilient account. Log right in. We have this new resource coming out this month. If you haven't heard about it yet, exercise database. You can click right there, pop on over. So this is how we'll, we'll send people their videos when they, uh, you know, they come to see us or maybe we're working with them remotely, we might send them exercises this way. We pop into the database, type an exercise, or start typing it. Here we go. I'm gonna copy the Rufid Elevated Split Squat video, have to head over to send an email to this fake client of ours. Better hip extension. Step three. Rear foot all the way to squat. Boom. Right there. It took me five seconds. It's in the in the uh, email for somebody. Trap bar deadlift was the other one. We have all these different deadlift variations here. Pop that right in. Perfect. Now this person has these two YouTube videos that we just covered where they have a, a good idea of what the movement should look like. Hope this whole hip extension series was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free. Send them over. Um, and yeah, we hope you, you like this series.